well, we're back at the ripping. It's uh, Labor Day, so happy Labor Day, everyone. Um, just broke a shear bolt, so I'm just going to go and fix that. So I've broken quite a few sheep bolts. Um, I've broken a couple over here. There's a few rocks in this paddock, especially on that knob where the power pole is mainly. Um, so I did, there's actually a section I didn't do there. Um, so there's the paddock sort of split in two. It's got this ditch that I cleaned out um, with the digger. So we're now on the second part of this. And this morning with uh, Anders and Ezra, we ripped half of that paddock that I said that I would rip where the cows um, I was going to get the cows to graze so I could rip it, so yeah, I've just been in there. Had a couple of water pipes, I think they're old ones, so uh, I've got to go back and see. There was no water coming out anywhere when when we did it, so it could be that the cows are drinking the water up here and it's not going over that way, so we'll check later on. But yeah, we'll get back on with ripping. It's amazing how much this has dried out since we were in here with the boys with the, and the digger. It's um, quite dry. Here goes my brother Nathan over there. Definitely get patches where it pulls a lot harder, so there's definitely a bit of a pan in a few places. Probably where traffic used to go, there's a used to be a gateway here, so the traffic boys used to go through here back you know years ago. Not so much now, but um yeah, just noticed it and same when I was ripping that paddock just over there. <coughs> it was like that. There was uh, places where you could really tell the tractor was working a bit harder. But otherwise, it's not too bad, really. But probably a good thing to do. I think I just found one of Dad's chains. Oh, yeah, it's a mentor. It's all there. Look at that. I won't tell Dad about that one. I'll just keep it. So a little bit of history for you. What we're sitting on right here is actually the old race. So our old cow shed is just down there behind that bush. Um, so you've got this race that just runs down here. That joins onto the alleyway, we call it, which crosses the stream. What well, used to turn and come up through here and go up past that, that bush there. You can see a trailer just sitting there, pretty much went in front of the trailer. You can sort of see there's a natural high point here or natural ridge. Um, so it is pretty hard ground through here and there's a lot of clay coming through um, but I think yeah this part here could definitely do with a rip but the problem being is there's a water trough just behind me and another water trough there or well, there's a water line somewhere between them and then that water line goes across the tanker drive over by that tree so I've left like an L shape here which I can't do and then somewhere somewhere down here I'm not going to find it <laughs> hopefully it comes across is a water line which supplies water to the cow shed goes up through there um, so yeah hope not to find it but um yeah this ground here is probably a bit harder than um, the the turnip paddocks that I'm doing definitely worth a rip so what the rip is essentially doing is when you watch it um, when you watch it you can sort of see there's a wave through there it sort of makes the ground sort of roll a little bit and just breaks it up. So it's breaking up the pan down underneath. Um, 
Yeah, it actually does a pretty tidy job. So this is a bit of a trial run for me. Um, Jeff, who I hired these rippers off, he also suggested rolling it uh, after. It does seem like it's defeating the purpose, but he said it stops the roots from drying out uh, where I've ripped, because he said the grass will die in those strips, so I don't really want the grass to die. So I'm gonna roll it, but at the end of the day, roll is not really that heavy and it's more spread out. It's not just a, it's not like a cow footprint or anything like that. So we'll give it a shot so later on we'll roll it we also got Sadie and Miriam in here now should we go and take it back I just gave it a wash we're gonna go back and give it a grease yeah mum's down there picking up all the it was pulled out a few like well there used to be some stumps along here and when they put the pond in they got pulled out but they got must have ended up in the dirt so She's got them on the back of Myrtle and she's going to drop them in the bush. So it'll be quite interesting to see because there's some patches that obviously I haven't done. And see whether there's a difference, a noticeable difference. Uh, I went and had a look at Jeff's pasture and there appeared to be a difference and a piece that he didn't do, so we shall see. Then I can stand up for her to sit down. Yeah, she's right at the minute. We've got to go up and grease it and then maybe when we go down the road you do that. Taking the rippers back now, and then you know, getting back and rolling the the paddock that hasn't been sprayed out. I believe we might have some chickens up in here because, or well, some chicks because they nest up where the um, window wiper is. Because when you go fast and it's windy, you you hear them chirping. Thanks Jeff for the use of the ripper, it's really good, it worked really well, pretty happy with how it went and um, yeah, we'll see what the result is when uh, we put grass in there. Yeah, right up there. So we're on a roll. I've got Sadie in the driver's seat, so it won't be long, I won't have to do it. Sadie and Ezra are about to do it for me. And Anders. And Miriam. Yeah. Miriam won't be able Watch to where you're going. You're missing some. You need a bit of practice today. Yeah. You Hi, girls. Yeah, sparkles in here. Well, I've rolled it. I've left the roller there because we're going to need the roller and the turnip paddock when we seed anyway. So the ground, what I've noticed is it's definitely softer when you walk on it. And you can walk in the middle of that the ripper's been there and there. It's noticeably softer. All right, so I just had to get out of the window. I couldn't talk. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what that paddock's like. I'll probably end up direct drilling some base into that paddock over there. Um, just, uh, yeah give it a better chance so yeah I'm happy so next couple of days I'll work up the turnip paddocks and then hopefully get it planted by Friday so yeah thanks for watching
And we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.